Now let's come to the main and the important part. Was he really possessed or was it a hoax? Hey, wanna play hide and clap? Hi and welcome back to another episode of SYWK podcast where you can find everything related to the paranormal. Did you hear my previous episode where I shared a story of a group of friends who spent their New Year's Eve at a haunted beach? Go check it out for sure you will enjoy it and if you do please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now coming back to this episode where I'll be sharing a story of Aunt Shyan Johnson who stabbed a man to death and then blamed it on the devil. Isn't it an interesting story? So sit back and listen to the episode till the end to find out if this is a case of possession or a hoax. First, let me tell you the story of Aunt Shine Johnson and how he stabbed a man called Alan Boner to death. On the evening of 16th February 1981, around 6:30 pm alan was stabbed several times in the chest and stomach at first it looked like a routine argument gone wrong police referred to it as an open and shut case but when police arrested johnson he made a statement that it was not him but the devil made him do it with the police investigation they got to know that the two men johnson and alan had been arguing over johnson's girlfriend before the stabbing occurred They were even under the influence of alcohol but according to Johnson's statement he did not have any memory of this incident. So now we have understood the basic concept of Johnson's case. Now let's go to the next part where I'll be sharing the details about how he got possessed or we can say according to them how we should think that he got possessed. So let's find out. Johnson lived in a town called Brookfield. He was then dating his girlfriend, now his wife Debbie. They were a normal couple who had a simple life before July 1980. Remember, he stabbed Alan to death in 1981, and his life took a turn in 1980, exactly one year before. Basically, what happened is Debbie's brother David was possessed by 43 demons in total. and this case was handled by a well known paranormal investigator ed and loren you all might be knowing them the conjuring movies are based on their life and the paranormal cases which they handle the latest conjuring movie which is the third part is based on johnson story so go check out the movie as well it's quite interesting but not 100% true now coming back to the story during the case study of debbie's brother david who was possessed by 43 demons in total ed and loren had conducted a few exorcism on david in which johnson had also participated and according to me this was the biggest mistake of his life i know he only wanted to help and be with debbie and her family but things got worse during one of the exorcism when johnson leaped up and cried to the demon and he said come into me i'll fight you come into me this was his exact words and we all know if you openly invite anyone especially demons to come inside you they will come inside you and they will surely possess you but if you look at it the other way johnson saved david's life and after that incident johnson was possessed till now we know how he got possessed and how alan was stabbed to death by johnson now let's come to the main and the important part was he really possessed or was it a hoax According to Ed and Lauren he was possessed and they knew in advance that there would be a tragedy in the family they had even informed the local police and the church about David but they did not know things would go bad with Johnson when Johnson's case was set for trial it was said that it was the first time a possession defense was used in an american courtroom but as soon as they made such claims the judge did not accept any such facts and disapproved all evidence with no other option left johnson's lawyer tried another strategy of self defense it was quite clear that johnson and allen was drinking that afternoon and allen was misbehaving with johnson's girlfriend debbie the argument went to an extreme level where allen ran towards johnson with a 6 inch knife and his lawyer tried to prove that johnson did not want to kill allen 
he did what he did in self defense johnson also said that he does not have any memory of the incident after a lot of courtroom drama the judge convicted johnson of manslaughter on november 24th 1981 not murder but manslaughter the jury's conclusion was that johnson's intention was not to kill allen but only to injure him with his self defense johnson received the maximum sentence of 10 to 20 years on december 18th 1981 but there is a catch he was released for good behavior after serving just 4 years so what do you think about this story personally i like it but i don't think it's 100% true see i don't doubt ed and lauren we all know about them but you know what they show in the horror movies especially the conjuring series they are fiction made up yes it is inspired by true events but it does not mean what they show in the movies are 100% true so you don't need to get so scared while watching such movies especially hollywood movies the concept is the same the house is haunted and a new family is moving oh my god we are fed up of such stories as i was saying i don't think johnson's story is 100% true yes maybe debbie's brother david did get possessed but what i'm going to tell you right now this is what i feel i can be wrong but what i feel is johnson did kill allen because he was acting like a dumb fuck we all know that and to save him his family must have come up with such stories no one knows the real truth only johnson and his family knows it but in the us it's quite common for someone to get fame and money by claiming such stories what are your thoughts on such stories what do you feel please comment below if you're listening to this episode on youtube or dm me on instagram if you're listening to this episode on any of the audio platforms in the end my message is the same enjoy such horror content but only for entertainment purpose even in the movies if they show the story is based on true events do not blindly believe them it's time now to know the entertainment industry tactics also please suggest what should i cover in my next episode i would love to hear from you guys thanks for listening and see you in my next episode ciao s y w k podcast